Andy Roman here, promoting my book, Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal. Today, I want to talk about simplicity and how essential that is to being real. You know, there's an old hymn that says, tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come round to where we ought to be. And it truly is. The good news is it's a gift that we're born with. We're born with that innocence, that simplicity, that original childlike heart. It's essential to all of us. But you know, we end up so far from that. We get lost. You know, I'm talking about myself too. And we do need help to return to innocence, to return to that original spot, that original way of being. And, I, you know, I personally find that it takes guts to be real, uh, you know, because the world is so steeped in appearances. You know, we compare ourselves to each other by how well we're doing, how much stuff we have. But really, when the bottom line is, we really all do share the same fate. We're here for a very short time, and it is imperative that we get to reality, that we get real. And getting real as a personal process means actually being honest. And there are several levels of honesty. First level is very simple. The carpet is red. That's, uh, you know, rarely debatable. It's just facts. Level two is how I feel about the facts. I don't like your red carpet. There's some risk involved in telling level two truth. Um, mainly our inner circle people and our family. We, we share that more frequently with those people. The third level is the most compelling level of truth telling and sharing, which I called confessing. You know, I feel challenged when I see your red carpet. It's such a bold statement. It makes me think of how timid I have been in my choices. That's confession. That's the stuff of group therapy. That's the stuff of therapy. That's the stuff of intimacy. Does it take effort to, to do something like that? To share at that level? Yeah, it does. And it takes practice. The good news is, whatever you practice, you're going to get better at. And so it is my intent to practice truth-telling, to be honest. You know, I have a reputation at Hippocrates for being like a badass therapist. But I'm telling you, I don't, I don't feel that badass. I'm just, I know I like to be confronted because I don't have forever to carry or work these things out. I want to get to it so that I can get through it. And I'm committed to helping you do that. I don't indiscriminately, you know, do badass things, except if I'm having fun with it. So my book can be a good help. There is a certain badass element in my book in terms of it just saying how it is. That's a reputation I, I can live with. I like that. Just Andy tells it like it is. And even in that section where I describe the 10 most prominent lies that we've swallowed collectively and individually, I like to think that there's some liberation that can come from that alone. Okay, thank you. Please do buy my book, tell other people about it, leave a review on Amazon, and have a good real life. Peace out.